Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids in the wilds of space where we have 14 duplicates trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible and it's been going wrong in a variety of ways over the past couple of episodes and let me tell you... I am amused. Uh, up here, we just spent uh, an entire, entire episode watching all the gas leave this area just for it to come pouring back in from, from this corner somehow. I'm still unsure how that even happened, let alone what Rutherford is doing here. How, how are you getting through here with your suit? I didn't even know we had a suit here. Let's undock that, make that safe again. We're just going to be leaving these guys to their trials and tribulations here. They've got just enough food to carry on eking out and we can let all this gas leave this area and then we can start taking care of the food here as we were going to do. Today's episode, I am going to go back to the place where we were taking over. That's right, back to Irrigal because um, their farm's dying. I, I, I actually do know what's happened here. We've got the wrong type of door. I'm going to deconstruct that and when someone gets around to it, I'm going to replace it with a manual airlock and then not let anybody through these doors anymore. But the water's been dripping and it's becoming a little bit of a problem. One that we can tidy up, but the biggest problem is the fact that it's been Tra transferring its uh, heat to the millwood here, pushing it above the temperature that it can sustain in. Uh, let's just grab the door like I said I would be doing. Ah, oh, Spitzer's quite slow at, uh, at, at a building at the moment. Okay, that, that that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so our major goal for the day is to uh, move this farm. I think we're just going to build it over here. I'm going to do the very, very smart choice of just running that out like that. I'm going to cancel this. Th th this is not going to happen like this. We're, we're obviously going to need to start thinking a little bit more logically about it. Uh, but this is where we're going to have a millwood farm. Uh, we do, of course, have access to waterweed, uh, but I'm not really sure about how to grow waterweed, and one of the things it asks for is bleachstone. Now, we did a couple of episodes ago make ourselves a bleachstone farm over here on Pyaxlin, the place where we produce our petroleum, uh, and over here, but some, something bad has happened. Something bad has happened indeed. Uh, the chlorine was becoming a bit of a problem, so I stopped letting people through. What's gone wrong here? I think I'm just going to dig this and then replace this with tiles. It's a shame to get rid of such a natural formation like that, but you know what? We'll keep those. We'll keep those. They'll be able to get through. Um, and this has meant that our... Uh, Rancher has not come through to groom the puffs, and we, we've we've lost a few. They're they're dead down here. I don't see any eggs, uh, and I do wonder whether that means yes, yeah, they're glum. Their happiness is down. The reproduction is low because of that. Change per cycle is two percent though. It should it should still be just about ticking over. I wonder where all the eggs are. Should we check in here? Okay, hatchlet lava, 52 molten lava eggs, but there doesn't appear to be any pufflet eggs kicking around. Hmm, we, we definitely need to open this up. That one's fine. Open this one up uh, and talk about how we're going to get a rancher in and out of here more safely than we are at the moment. Uh, because the thing I actually want to do, let's uh, come down to the shipping. We do, of course, want to be picking up as much of the bleach stone as possible how much or oh, all but one of the tiles i think i'll take that uh and then we can dump that somewhere else uh and hopefully hopefully we'll be able to keep these guys happy ruben's on their way okay that's good let's go back to irrigal because this is of course is our main area no, no one's started digging yet okay that's that's good work we've got we've got a tile in place that's good Okay, here we go. People are doing their thing. This bleach stone dispenser needs to be turned off. It was just uh, in use. Wait, it's not actually there. Ah, you're going over to put it in the in the box. Okay, fair enough. I'm hoping that the auto sweeper can reach that and stop any of our duplicates wanting to do this. The other problem is this is very high pressure over here. We're probably going to have to build some sort of better system for this. Something that we can pump. Do we have a... Let's have a look in my ventilation here. We should have a fairly small gas pump. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we then need to sort the gases. Any gases that get picked up that are chlorine we pump back into here. Um, let's just put that in place. And then we need the 
gas filter there. We do, of course, have a little bit of a spacing issue. I think it's one we could probably solve right here, though. This? I think this, I think this is the system. We do, of course, need to attach some power. Do we have a power system nearby? We do, and one that's not even being utilised. Okay, and hopefully when I not... Oh, wait, 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 there's one, one more thing missing in, uh, from this equation. You know what? I think I'm going to turn this gas pump over. Yeah, it's harder to power, but we should be able to now run a little bit of automation underneath it here. I want a gas element sensor, this one here, uh, connect it together. And if we just connect, if we just detect any chlorine whatsoever, we'll start the pump going. Anyway, that distraction aside, has no one got to uh, building this door? Spitzer and Hubble are on it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Hubble is creating power for this whole system here. Fair enough. The other thing we, of course, need to do is try and turn this into a viable ranch. This, of course, means that we need to get the auto shipping on underway. I should have had materials for that. Maybe we need to... Where, where are you going, Spitzer? Maybe we need to rip down some of the uh, the, the rover materials here. Where, where is he actually going? He, he's, he's had to run back, but what was he after? There's lots of other ways up to the surface, so I'm not sure. Like This this isn't blocked off, is it? No, I do wonder if the fact that the oxalate has gone might be a problem. Let's just throw down a tile here and uh, just, just make it very important to make that. For some reason, my duplicate... Ah, it's because they can't get through here. Okay, I see what's happened here. Uh, let's go all. Uh, I was like, there's there's plenty of toilets. If there's, if there's one place I'm not scared of my duplicates needing the toilets, it's here. Like, there we got one, two, three, four, five for four four duplicates like i don't i just don't understand anyway hubble needs to come along i mean he's having a great time by the looks of it i need to stop them going through this door when hubble actually makes it like th this time is okay i suppose it is an emergency uh but now whilst the uh whilst the the water meter here is so full we need to make sure that this is a uh, a non-passing route now uh, hopefully now we're going to be able to deal oh look at look at all this mess here uh, one of the problems we've got right now is our very, very fastly dwindling stack of um, materials down uh, to, to build anything with. I started off trying to build some hydroponic farms and that I only, was only being able to place three before, in fact, we had to switch to regular farm tiles. So over here at Event Set 1, I've been asking for someone to come along and uh, build this. Looks like uh, nobody wants to really go and do it for now. Okay, here's Franklin. That's great. The uh, refrigerator is being restacked and we're about to put down uh, in the furniture the bed oh, we'll just pop that in the corner over there we can leave that running I suppose uh, that's right we are about to make our way off to go and find some more metals uh, we're gonna go mine it from I think it was the swampy ore field with its cobalt ore Okay, pro problem solved. Just a little bit of alarm needed there. Had to build a another hydroponic farm to make sure that we could get through. But now all our duplicates should be able to make their way out. Chandra saying she's starving. I don't think that is actually the case. <laughs> to toilets first, yes, of course, as is the way. Oh, look at the size of this drip here, but I think with the water now under control, mostly, we're going to try and clean this area up a little bit. Of course, I want to try and take control of the area underneath as well, and that's going to take a lot of pumping at some point. We're going to, going to need to make good use of all this salt water around here. Definitely need to figure out a way of uh, cooling it down. That's that's a, that's a problem we've got right now. It's coming out at 40 degrees. Yeah, that that's that's a minor problem. Well, we're down to low numbers of food here, but we are making the mush bars, so I think we'll probably be okay for now. I've got a whole bunch of farm tiles set up and ready to go. We definitely need to move this poke shell. Let's have a quick look around, see what else is going on. Blagolia, we've got gas being made. That's making liquids. How's the water going? Oh, it's we're nearly full. We're nearly full. Okay, that's good. Pyaxlin over here. Other than the overheat damage, we're starting to run out of oil. Okay, petroleum. That's an interesting state of affairs. I'll figure out what's going on there. Ah, uh, this. We want it to, uh, if we detect any chlorine, filter for chlorine. 
and then all the other waste gases go up and out. That should work for us, I hope. Uh, we are detecting chlorine, so this is now just going to pump this place dry. If we have a look, we can see that the oxygen is being passed out. Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. But inside, uh, the, it turns out we are ready to roll. Is there a way to... Wait, wait, wait. We can cancel this deconstruction. We now have uh, the, the, the snip tool as part of the game now. It's no longer a mod that we need. Cut that off. Yeah, we got the, the, the pipe ready to go. Uh, there should be enough food. Let's have a look. There's 24 days worth of calories here. I think that's good enough to come up to this particular spot. Go, hey, we would like plank. Thank you very much. We're going to change our destination to this swampy ore field over here. We're going to make sure there's enough diamond on board. There is. That's beautiful. We're going to realise that we don't have the fuel that we need and we're going to turn that pump back on. Let's see that go. Beautiful. At some point, we're going to start getting extra water being added to this place, but uh, so far, the amount of water we've got is usable. Okay, that's going to take a second to fill up. Let's uh, let's go over and see what's going on with Reverslin. Uh, penny to a pound, as they say, that I'm going to forget about the rocket. Okay, so we've got like 40 milligrams up and around. That's about what we had uh, earlier on. 117 down the bottom. Uh, we, we had about 10... Uh, 10 kilograms over here so we're doing much better down here okay that's that's good much much better if only there was some way to know whether the rocket is fully fueled or not nothing comes out of the of the tank there out of the uh, the engine and i'm we've got unloading loading yeah n none of these are, are what we need Okay, three out of seven. That should be fine. I'm going to turn this off and we'll let the gas that's in the pipe network make its way to us. The steam, of course. I'm not sure whether I got it in time or whether we're going to be slightly over the top. We, of course, don't need a completely full tank of steam to get going. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, okay, now that this is like this, I should be able to. As soon as the autosave lets me. It's getting longer as the, as the uh, game goes on, would you believe? Uh, rejoin those together okay that that's good uh, i'm just gonna click over here i it says that we've got some warnings i think the warnings are just the oxygen being delivered i think we're going to acknowledge those warnings we're going to make sure that everything's all good there and we're going to launch this sequence okay this, this is good are we are we warming look we're even warming up the insulated tile that that glossy draco needs to move it's going to have a bad time if it stays there uh but away the rocket goes uh on its way to grab us some some more some more cobble we, we need to try and figure out a better way of uh, automating that at some point we need to just keep this this flow going uh, we do of course get a whole bunch of other materials here that we've got mud and polluted dirt that both really should get processed down anyway back to the regal <laughs> oh stop stop good good job i got here we're just, we're just gonna leave that as it is at least until we clear this out of these wonderful little poke shells here Four seconds remaining until Vensac gets over to the swampy ore field. Okay, here we go. You can see the little arm coming out, and we are starting to fill up our cargo bay. Uh, cargo bay remaining, it's 12 tons right there. About 10% of that, so uh, a th uh, one ton. 1.2 tons. It's going to end up being cobalt ore. And not a moment too soon because things are not going well over on Irrigal. Not only are we like pr pretty much out of food, uh, but like we're also pretty much out of power. Pretty much out of any raw materials as well. Thankfully, going along and putting down some millwood. Of course, the temperature is also a bit of an issue over here. So we need to start thinking about where we're going to have a cooling uh, cooling station. But of course, that's no good if we can't make the power. And also, the, 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 the chlorine is starting to become a bit of an issue here. I think we might need to try and pump the chlorine out or at least just try and vent it out somehow and we can deal with it later. Uh, this this is a big problem though. Maybe we need to make a full Rodriguez over here. I think I think that might be what we need to do. This is going to involve ripping pretty much everything down and rebuilding it though. And we're going to run out of oxygen in that meantime. So how can I make a little temporary situation, maybe down the bottom here, to see us through st starvation of Compton? Oh no. Uh, we, we definitely need to make sure that everybody is full blown on the food tomorrow. 
So I was just coming back to Pyaxlin to see what's going on. And we've, we've filled this place up with steam. I don't know how that's happened or what these are over here. I don't, yeah, I literally, I was kind of expecting this polluted water to flash up at some point, but it doesn't go until, let's have a look if this is 100, yeah, 119. Uh, and we're well short of that. So, hmm, ooh, ooh, ooh. Polluted water, 120. Okay, this is where it's turning into steam. Okay, I think that's okay. If only we had a way of turning it back into water and tapping it out of there. Because uh, as it is right now, it's going to go through... Yeah, look at that. It's already starting to take damage everywhere. Uh, let's, let's put down a bunch of insulated pipes, eh? Hey? We'll have to rip up a floor or two, but that will go fine. Over in space, Plank has been complaining about the radiation, but I think he's doing mostly okay. I want, I want to have a look at the, the spaceship, thank you. Uh, where is our cargo? We, we've barely filled a fifth of it, okay. Back on Irigal, I'm wondering whether we can go ahead and... Oh, it's going to be a problem to get past here. I guess, I guess we'll just go down here. But siphon off a bit more of the hydrogen to uh, to save ourselves a little bit of power. It's going to cost us some power, but there definitely is hydrogen coming out and getting stuck down here. Particularly when any liquid gets spilt where this power transformer is. This whole place just kind of fills up. Uh, so we'll, we'll, just, we'll just wait and see whether that's worth it or not. We've got some interplanetary payloads on their way from Pyaxlin to Eragal. Uh, we do, of course, just, just need all of the, look at this, steel, cobalt. We, we need everything that they've got. More steel over there, more steel. Thank you very much. That is exactly what we need because, of course, uh, things aren't able to grow because, you know, not only is the pressure not right, but the, the body temperature. Um, it's, it's too hot here. It's too hot. Everything's 30 degrees when it should be 18. I think 18 sounds good. And so in preparation for the cooling, I'm going to start running some uh, liquid lines across where I would like everything to be cooled, around the kitchen and the great hall, all through the, uh, the the living area over here. I don't think we're ever going to move on from the dirt because we're going to be surviving mostly off of Millwood, and that takes a lot of dirt. So these puppies have landed over here. I wonder whether we can actually just kind of build up that way. Uh, I do, of course, need to let these guys out of here. I had to restrict their access to the surface. The people were coming out of this way, grabbing some aluminium and then trying to... Look, you can see little piles across here. They were trying to run across the top to get where they were going. And that, that was never, ever, ever going to work. Hopefully, this one will be better. Oh, look, we've done so bad at running this place that we've got our own little morb. We're going to keep him because uh, all oxygen is good oxygen and he produces little amounts of polluted oxygen. Now, you might be wondering what I'm doing over here and, in fact, getting everybody to do over here. You know what, let's just move on to construction here. Uh, I want to I wanna rip all this apart. I want to get some destruction going here. One of the main things that's holding our food production back is the fact that people need to go, ooh way over here to go get some liquids uh, so uh, yeah I'm, I'm totally going to fix that let's get the pitcher pump I'm gonna pop that there uh, like so I want to get this crown molding out of the way I want to get that crown molding out of the way in fact I want to have a plumbing uh, let's get a liquid vent do you reckon we can have one like directly here or do do we think we need to leave a little room I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put it here instead as soon as soon as things maybe we need to deconstruct this crown molding as well well we'll make a, a fancy roof a fancy roof somehow indeed pipsqueak yes please i would like one of those uh i think we also as i say need to put down the liquid vent we're just going to use a regular one because i of course do not want to be uh, overfilling this i want when i when i put liquids in here i do not want them to go oh we're just going to fill this to like many depths uh, it won't let me put these here. Oh, no. Uh, I, we, we need to do this differently. I need to cancel that. I need to grab the granite. I want to pop these here, 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 and here. But we need to wait for these to be destroyed first, of course. That ladder, not, not quite where I wanted it, but okay. Okay, that, that's the correct way of doing it. The next thing we need, of course, is... Um, the water from over here. Yeah, obviously this is the place we need to take the water from. How am I going to get it over here, despite the fact that we've got all these cooling loops? Maybe through through here is the best way. I mean, I would love for it to be through there, but I'm not sure I can actually get there to do that. It'll be on the, the list of things to do, though. I wonder if we can build our way sort of diagonally in to close this off and then pop a little hole through to dig it. I bet I bet we can. I bet we can.
Ignore the alarms. The star map says that we are done with this, so I'm going to change my destination back to Pyaxlin. I'm going to fly the uh, the, the Vestat back to 3.4 cycles. Hopefully that's not going to take quite that long. The reason that we have alarms is because I want to get this vent done, and nobody nobody wants to do the vent. I don't, I don't understand why nobody wants to do the vent. Uh, I think it's because all the uh, aluminium is like all the way up here, and that's next to impossible to get. How much have we got here? 55. We, maybe, maybe if we dig this out as well. Oh, I uh, I dug out a little bit of room here so that we could get the pipe through, and we're getting pressure damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's very unfortunate. How are we going to fix this? Uh, obviously, the way to fix it is to layer up tiles, but oh, oh, oh we, we we made them work for too long. We made them work for too long. Uh, the the way to fix it obviously is to um, layer up tiles, but I I wanted to to get in here and. Hmm, maybe maybe put some tiles like this so I could then rip these ones down. That would that would be very handy, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna deconstruct this tile. Just you watch me. It's what it's what we're gonna do. And then hopefully someone can reach up to get this one. That that's the one that's gonna be awkward. Uh, I'm ready with some more tiles just in case this turns into a hideous, hideous mess. I think it is gonna turn into a hideous mess. Don't worry. But I I, I feel like we could probably get this tile built. I've, if only. Oh yes, that's that's kind of what I was hoping for. Yes, okay, let, let's get that tile built. Okay, you're gonna go elsewhere now. That's gonna become a problem. And even if we just get that, that liquid pipe put in place, that, that would also be good. I don't I don't mind who does what, as long as long as it does get done. Compton coming up. The flow is increasing. Where is Spitzer? I should have got Spitzer over here with some materials straight away, actually. I, sh I should have had the materials ready to go, probably. Uh, okay, so th this is actually going well. Uh, you know what? I, I kind of don't want to do that. I just want to get this pipe in place. Please, Spitzer, if you could. Uh, and, and then we can talk about putting this this back. Maybe maybe going down further but you know we'll, 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 we'll talk about that okay yes that's nice so uh, this is this is a little bit problematic we'll probably end up installing a pump in here to uh, to pick all this up uh, ne nearly not lost all the water ne nearly managed to not lose all the water of course last seconds now that we're closing it up we've equalized <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, it could have gone better, could have gone much better. What about all of the stuff on this side? It's because of this, isn't it? All of this is uh, diggable by Hubble only. Okay, at this point, I don't even know what I want it for, but I'm also going to run a gas line across. I just got a feeling that's going to be helpful at some point. Let's ask for all of that to be done. Maybe hold up on the uh, the tile here. Let's cancel that one. Okay, the plan is working, so I'm going to snip this line here because ideally this water is now superfluous to needs. And we've got our water being uh, transported all the way along here up to the kitchen with absolutely no side effects to the base whatsoever. Yes, totally haven't destroyed my base just for this minor inconvenience. Sorry, this minor convenience. Let's use the language properly. So one of the major things that is holding us back with getting all of our farm up and running, if we have a look at the uh, the millwood over here, is the body temperature is too high. It's 32 degrees here. So I've started making myself a steam turbine, and the next thing to put down, of course, is a thermal aqua tuner. But we are short of the metal ore. Uh, let's have a look over here and see how much exactly. We're short of over a kilogram of it. Coming over to Pyaxlin, where we make... Well, no, this is where we send most of our... Um, items off. This is the distribution center. Reverslin is of course where we make the steel. Here's the refineries that are responsible for such things. Here we make the uh, the iron ore to iron. In fact, is that done up here? Yeah, here is iron ore to iron, and then, of course, here we have iron to steel. Just waiting on things like lime, which, of course, comes from the poke shells, which is why we're trying to set up the farm over there as well. It's a whole cyclical system, but the most important thing right now is the fact that we've got a lot of steel, 19.2 tons, just sat in our distribution center, and we are waiting for the red bolts to be generated. Something that got introduced uh, a few um, few updates ago, I don't even know if it was the last one or the most recent one, uh, is the conduction panel. Uh, this is sol solves this particular issue where we've had to drop down a little bit of liquid to cover up the Radbolt generator so that it can swap 
the temperature in it with the liquid and then the pipe. For some reason, the pipe did not interact with the building uh, as it was. We needed to have a medium for the uh, the temp the uh, energy to flow but now we can use this it specifically says carries liquid allowing temperature to exchange with overlapping buildings can function in a vacuum can be run through walls and floor tiles oh hello we've got we've got we've got some systems going it's all firing off oh look at that that's great how much is actually being sent in this single it's only a single load and in there we have the 200 kilograms so we, we need five of those that's going to take a little bit of time with the setup that we've got right now, hence why I wanted to use this. If we turn this around, I think I should be... Like, does it only swap with this tile here? I, I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna build this like so. I'm going to drag down some uh, some pipes here, uh, and then I'm going to build another rad vault generator this way, and we'll, we'll see if we end up with a, a little melted pile of materials down the bottom. What are we making out of granite? So we'll see if we end up with some igneous rock down below, because that, that's where it will end up if it does does work like that. Okay, that interesting little um, animation going on in the background there. Okay, it's all shaking around. We don't have any liquids able to flow the full distance though, so we, we just got to wait for those to be done. I bet someone's picked up, yeah, this uh, oxygen mask and now it's loose somewhere and I almost guarantee it's because someone's going to end up walking in here getting scolded and coming back out. That That's my prediction for the future. Anyway, Rad Bolt Generator. Wait, we need power. Oh, how could I forget that we need power? Uh, 480... And it's on its own loop. That that's that's fine. This can definitely handle this much power. Okay, there we go. Conductive wire going in. The temperature's going up, but um, mm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Surely this should be working. Oh, we we might have a liquids issue. Maybe, maybe this is the problem. Let's do that and see what happens here. This should hopefully just be pulling the temperature down. Temperature's going up. Okay, I might need to go read up what's going on with this. Well, I guess we'll come back and see this at 600 degrees and see 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 how that's going. But hopefully we will start moving a little bit more steel across. Uh, we've got a fair way to go. Oh, thermal aqua chip. Oh, we got, we got aluminium. Uh, that's, that's not what we need. We need the steel. The aluminium, unfortunately, would melt at a relatively, there we go, overheat temperature of 125. And the steam turbine here won't turn on until the steam's at about 150. Meaning, of course, that the uh, thermal aqua tuna would melt before we're able to cl uh, to cool down the environment. Maybe back over here, here on Pyax in our distribution center, we've got ourselves a bit of an issue with the the whatever it classes as the middle tile. That might be our problem here. Maybe this top one. Uh, sorry, I've, I've gone and looked on the wiki. Uh, I've had a look, and it says that it only swaps with buildings for the middle tile. Uh, so let's try and put in a new middle tile uh, and see whether it counts this top one as the one it needs to exchange the temperature with. I don't I don't know because now the liquid's coming so briefly. Let's just let's just swap that. That unfortunately cannot stay like this because the uh, this red bolt generator here is going to keep keep getting hotter now. Uh, but has that started cooling this one down? N no. No, it seems to be the same issue. Let's let's reset the pipe. Uh, can I build a temperature shift plate here as well? I think I've built it out of lead. I'm not sure if that's what I wanted to do. But let, let's see if that will also help. Because we're up to like 60 degrees now. This is this is not sustainable. I think all I've really managed to do here is figure out a rather excessive way of making extra igneous rock. Which, you know, don't get me wrong, we always need a new source of igneous rock. It'd be better if I wasn't making it out of granite. What, what else could we make these out of that's a little bit more expendable? Maybe the sedimentary rock? That's, all, that's always a poor choice to my mind. Okay, we've got more materials being fed through there. That's great, that's great. Everything is being set and ready to go. Are you, go, you going to fire there, my bro? No, not, not at the moment, not at the moment. Maybe we'll come back and have a look. This one, of course, more steel coming down for Irigao. Uh, we're probably still quite a way off, though. Yeah, yeah. Mo most of it hasn't arrived. I should imagine, yeah, there, there's one of them there, but I should imagine a few of them are waiting for unloading. Okay, that that's 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 pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, no, rather Kiri, please don't don't get struck by that. That would be bad. Where is? I'm just gonna click deliver and just see if someone can even bring that that oxygen mask back to the 
to the dock here. I don't I don't know where it is. I, I suppose I could search it up uh, via the magic, but if we come over here, I'm going to cover that up. Oh, you can't move the uh, the tile, the uh, the window. Uh, gas. Uh, it's not called gas mask. Maybe it's called oxygen mask. Let's call it mask. Um, it's, a, it's around somewhere. Okay, there that one goes. Beautiful oxygen mask. Let's have a look. There's there's. Uh, it's got. It's just been delivered. Okay, great. Beautiful. Whilst we wait for the steel to turn up, I diverted Spitzer. Oh, my, my bro, where are you going? I diverted Spitzer's attention just for a little bit to build some more solar panels, just so we can keep everything turning over nice and well. As you can see, overnight, or at least in the morning, uh, the jumbo battery for the desalinator and the electrolyzer runs completely dry. So if we could get this uh, hooked up, maybe we'd get enough power during the day? I don't know. I don't know. I can, I can definitely build a bunch more of these, though. Uh, three more, in fact. So we'll probably keep this going until we get all the steel we need for the aqua tuna. I mean, we're gonna need the power to run the aqua tuna, and indeed, like, maybe we're gonna have to start looking towards other sources of power, but that's for next time. But whilst we watch Hubble run around and I figure out what priorities I need to set him to to make sure the desalinator keeps running, I wanted to like, take this moment right here and thank the people who make sure that my priorities keep on running. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that got along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my computer can move on into the future as comfortably as possible and of course make sure that I keep my priorities straight and make sure that we get the videos out every week. Sometimes this can be difficult, but knowing, but knowing that there are people out there relying on me, make sure that I can keep my focus and keep the content coming. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. In the background, whilst we've been building all of this stuff, but Golia has been having a bit of issue. Turns out we've run out of slime, which I know how to fix. I can I can totally fix this. We're gonna start by ripping down all of this area over here. Oh, I'm also having big, big like gas troubles over here. All of the steam that I'm trying to pump out has not been prepared. Like the pipes are not prepared for it, so we keep leaking all of the steam out. I'm I'm hoping now that we've kind of got on top of it, but alarms keep going off, uh, and that's the thing. But Golia, as I say, running out of food. I know how to fix this. This. We're going we're to put down a bunch of uh, old school toilets, just like we have in Irigao, and we're going to end up letting them overflow, create a whole bunch of morbs, rip them down, make some more morbs, do as much as we can to produce as much polluted oxygen as we can, and then get a bunch of puffs in there making slime for them. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm going to just uh, come along and, I don't know, maybe rip this bit down, and hopefully, maybe even if we uh, put some ladders up along here, this should keep us turning over with uh, more more fungal spores. Uh, we do have Paku fillets being made down here and also uh, coincidentally made up here. We weren't really supposed to be making them up here but we, we are as well quite a few of them. So that that's going to be for next time. This time though I am definitely needing to get a little bit of salt water, polluted water, regular water. Just try and push all of the chlorine out of this area. I've got a power system built over this side. You can see that we've taken the, the main power spline down and across into two separate power transformers because these power transformers can only output a thousand watts at a time and this needs 1.2 so, so we need two of them the main problem here though is i need to use conductive wire to move the uh, the power around because it's more than one oh, wait wait let me just double check this yeah because it's more than one kilowatt which is the maximum safe wattage that this wire can take uh, i need i need refined metals and i don't actually have any at the moment because pyaxlin uh we, we we've had we've had some oil issues uh, they're, they're getting sorted out they're being fixed right now as we speak but they were happening in the background as well turns out a lot of stuff just kind of silently happening in the background that i wasn't really uh, aware of is this steam actually able to escape or are we just turning it all into water i, I don't know i don't know anyway over on Irigao, hopefully we should be getting some of the water in here let's have a look is anybody working on it let's let's just make everybody work on it hubble Nice, nice, nice. We just need a single layer across the bottom to get us going. Hubble, if you if you could. No, he's like, no, I've started this job. We're going to make sure it happens properly. We're going to pick up all the water that we possibly can. I don't even know how much water we end up spilling across the bottom. I want to also mop up these, uh, not mop, uh, pick up these items in the corner here. Hubble immediately on it. That's beautiful. We've got our single layer of water on the bottom. I, I don't know if I trust it, though. Let's, let's try and get some more water water in there and then we'll put the actual water. 
It's kind of carnage over here right now. We are losing a lot of uh, sedimentary rock, shall we say. Uh, over on Irrigal, of course, we're just dumping some water down. In fact, I want to change this to now do regular water rather than salt water. I don't know whether we've got any regular water. Spitzer's on it if, the, uh, if there is. So we'll come back and check that in a second. But I think I'm going to have to rip down this little bit here and put down a gas filter. Ideally, I would like a steel gas filter. Okay, that's good. We can turn this around, pop that down there. I'm going to break all these wires like so. Uh, and we're going to filter for for steam. Very much we're going to filter for steam. Let's, uh, let's get that going as fast as possible. We're going to need some power to make that run. That's fine. We can do that like this. Uh, and then finally, we're going to need to know where we're sending our, uh, uh, our gas pipes here. I think what I'm going to do, uh, we can we can run it up, across, up, up, and into here. Yeah, yeah there, that, that, that's perfect. The first thing I'm going to need to do is deconstruct that one particular bit there because I'm going to want to put a whole bunch of insulated gas tiles in. And that is... Uh, okay, let's just try like this. That, that should work for us. Gas bridge going that way and that way. Okay, that, that should now be everything as long as we can get it all... Ooh, 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 that's a lot, of, a lot of materials there. As long as we can get it all built in time. A lot of um, orders there is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just want to I want to bypass all of this stuff with the steam. I don't want I don't want the steam coming down here anymore. It's causing us troubles and we can just filter it straight out. As long as someone can come along and build it all. We've got a look at look at all these guys in here. There's a, there's a lot of uh, random slicksters just kind of kicking about. No wonder we have got no uh, carbon dioxide up here. It's it's all steam. Taking a small break from the carnage, Chandra's got the, uh, the the normal water coming into place. Hopefully, yeah, look at this. A beautiful second layer going across. We've got to try and get that carbon dioxide out of there somehow. Uh, let's then turn this off of the super high priority. I'm going I'm to let it dump all of its contents. Maybe at some point it will push the carbon dioxide out. But if not, we're then going to... We need to try and put um, polluted... Uh, water on top of it. I think I might even get rid of this tile and let stuff equalize out. What's what's going on over here? Hello? Is everything okay now? Is everything okay? It's kind of not, but we're working on it. Gas filter. I want to filter out steam. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, now, now we just got to wait for everything else to be put into place so that all of the gases can take their quick and uh, quick and viable way out. I, sh I sure do hope this is viable. Okay, now shuffling steam straight out. Is it going to be able to hold its temperature enough? I, I actually don't know, especially with these packets that have been sat in the pipe for just a little bit of time. But I'm hoping that they can make their escape up and out of here. Uh, that All they need to do is make it through all of this pipe, pipe work here. I don't know whether they're actually going to have... The internal heat. We're already down to 99. If we get down to 97, that's where the troubles are abound, I do believe. But okay, we're, we're out and we're free. Uh, that should just be releasing steam to the environment. And maybe some of it is condensing into water, dripping down here. And then we come along and we mop this up uh, later on. Okay, that that's better. Now, hopefully, all of this is going to stop leaking water everywhere and gumming up my, my toilet system. Because that's what kept on happening. We kept on getting uh, regular water in with the polluted water and look at look at all these problems that we've got over here this is this is all pretty serious how is this a heat damage what's 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 going on over here oh we got like 100 degree polluted water that's why and then out come mm. okay that's a little awkward do you think maybe ah oh, this is not really the place to do it but do you think maybe we can drop down some radiative pipe and uh, get the temperature down to ambient that that would be great if if we could we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try all of this Ugh, so so many so many alarms but here we go Talking so many alarms, the uh, carbon dioxide has moved out of the way. So now that we've got water and polluted water, well, I'm fairly sure I needed to have done the polluted water underneath. But we're, ab we're about to find out. Polluted water, turn that off. Let's go. Do we have any? We do have some. I'm mildly shocked. I didn't think we'd have any kicking around. Oh, it's just over here. Oh, is this actually polluted, polluted water? I don't think it really matters. But uh, I, I would like it if there... Yeah, there's, there's some germs on there. I think we're fine, though. I think we're fine. Starvation Franklin. Okay, that's that's kind of okay. Uh, maybe if we got rid of all the yellow alerts over here, that would work out better. But, you know, here we go. What's going to happen with this water? Yeah, it's exactly... Uh, I've done it the wrong way. I've done it the wrong way. Okay, well, we'll just keep dumping more polluted water into 
until we have a good, um, I'm going to say, use the word meniscus of polluted water across, and then we'll dump some actual water. And then we'll just have one tile to deal with, and we'll figure that out. Okay, much better. Bringing it down below 100 degrees. That's all, that's all we needed to do. Just, just get it down to not boiling temperature when it comes out. Great. So if dropping polluted water on this side pushed the water over, what do you reckon dropping polluted water on this side is going to do? I'm not entirely sure. Spitzer's on it. Thank you very much. I can't can't see a thing in that point of view, but there we go. Spitzer's on it. We've got more polluted water over here. We got, we got 60 kilos over here, so we've got, got to constantly be moving polluted water. Thankfully. Oh, indeed, there's more in front of every every sink. Okay, that that's that's really good. Really, really good. Yeah, uh, could, could have seen us running out of polluted water pretty pretty early there. I've also asked Hubble to come along and dig these out so that I can start mopping this corner block here if need be. Uh, I don't think we got enough water there. Let's have a look. Is anybody on the next set of errands? Yes, they are. And we got we got a single bit of water in the middle. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Starving? It's just Plank. That's all right. Plank, Plank can sort his life out. Can indeed mop the corner here. That That's great. That's that's almost exactly what I want. Good, good work, Hubble, coming through. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because obviously there's actual water on top. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay, go go for it, my friend. Go for it. Let's see. We're going to end up with uh, bottles of water, salted water, and ideally polluted water as well, but I wouldn't hold my breath on the polluted water. Uh, Spitzer, what, what are you doing? How are you so far? Where has this even come from? What? All right, well, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll accept it for now. We will accept it for now. It's just a shame that he needs to run so incredibly far. So with Hubble doing the stand-up work of mopping up everything over there, I've got to wonder what happens if we now drop some salt water down here. I feel like it's going to just merely drop salt water into the bottom layer and that will spread out, but I, I'd like to know. We're, we're, we're going to find out. Uh, I don't know who is going to be on this or indeed even what they're going to be moving. It's a bit weird the way the water was flowing there, uh, but I think that's fine. Spitzer is always so far away. Why are you always the one to uh, to pick up the call to despite the fact that you are literally on the other side of the asteroid. I, I don't know, but I, I suppose we will live with it. Oh, I should have also pointed out that I totally ran some power lines through the same place that we've now got the water and the gas line, ju just in case. Well, I say just in case. It's actually how we power the thermal aqua tuner, but it's nice to just have everything being able to pass through the, the bottom here. I mean, the other alternative would have been coming down and around, and I, I think you can see that would have been a bit of a, uh, bit of a mission to do. I should probably have pointed out the reason that I'm trying to layer the water in here in this manner is so that we can push all the gases out and not have to worry about having any uh, extraneous gases in here. So yes, indeed, the, the salt water just gets pushed down to the bottom, and I assume that just shares out amongst its peers. Okay, no no big problem there. I just wanted to know. I guess right now I'm just going to be like, okay, any and all. Whatever liquids you've got here, let or oh, not not quite whatever. Uh, water, polluted water and salt water. I'll just I'll just take all of them. Let let's see what happens if we uh, just ask for everything to be added to the to the mixture here. I think I think we're going to be all right. Oh, there's some brine over here. That's interesting. Uh, brine of course is kind of concentrated salt water. Uh, um, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, yeah, look at this. This is great. I don't know whether we can make use of brine as a separate and uh, uh, separate substance to uh, to salt water. I'm not sure if they actually are functionally different in any way. I don't believe they are. Let's uh, let's mop that up as well while we're at it. Let's, let's let's clear this area up. Let's clear this area up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start again. Uh, the end of day has been called, but I've managed to sweep everything up. We're totally gonna just oh no, he's doing the water. I don't want the water. I would like first the salt water. Hope oh no, we we got some water on the floor. We can't we can't be dealing with that. Not at all. Uh, but once that is done, we should then be able to get the salt water up and in there. That's just gonna wait till tomorrow. Okay. We're also going to use it as an opportunity to test new techniques. I have no idea how brown and salt water sit together. What what was that? Why did something just suddenly go steam turbine bottle empty uh, insulated gas pipe? That's going to be over here somewhere. Oh, look at them. Okay, I mean, we'll just we'll just leave that for now. That pe people will get on it. Well, what I really want to do is pop down a whole bunch of brine. I found a little brine puddle down the bottom here because there's not enough brine to go across the whole bottom. Uh, and I, I just want to see what happens. Oh, it's disappeared. It's disappeared. Okay, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Is anybody going to come along and grab the extra brine? They are. They're, look at this. Brilliant. Okay. There's also a little pocket here, but it's too much. I can't. I'm not actually allowed to mop it up. So I suppose that's fine. 
Okay, with roughly five kilos of brine across the bottom, let's... Uh, no, you weren't picking up more brine. Let's now transition to salt water, which hopefully should be coming out of here. If we uh, up, up the priority of that, uh, I definitely want to... Uh, maybe we'll stick all this on sweep only and we'll see if that's a thing we can do. And it does, though. It does double fill. Okay, that's great. That means that we're going to have less troubles. I just want to get all the salt water out from inside of here, ideally before we actually start going ahead and uh, adding other layers. A little bit worried that the salt water is going to push its way under the brine, but I think we should be fine as long as someone yeah, can come along and grab all of these. Beautiful. Okay, no pending deliveries means we've got all the salt water out of there. Let's now switch to polluted water. Again, hopefully getting the stuff in there first. Double layers of water still holding strong. That's nice. Brine salt water. Oh, brine is a slightly different colour. If you have a look, there's more blue than the... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, more blue than the white up above. I, I, it's, it's hard to call those colours, though. It's hard to call those colours. All right, hopefully, yeah, all the way across now. I'm also going to add the actual water, and we'll, we'll just we'll just see what happens here. Hopefully means we're just going to overflow. I can deal with it overflowing. That That is totally okay by me. All right, according to this bottle opener, no more penned in deliveries. Turn off the polluted water. Turn on the actual water. Uh, turn off auto bottle because I just want the stuff from the floor same situation over here water i suppose the fact that we've got the sweep only tick also means that the auto bottle won't work but uh, let, let's let's just let this play like this beautiful beautiful Oh, we've just had a good thing come in through the mini pod for Blagolia over here. Let's let's drop those Paku back over on Irigal. Sorry, I should have should have stopped and gone. Oh look, eight of them. Oh, uh, they, they've. I think I think they might be in a little bit of trouble there. We'll we'll let the uh, the team take hold of them over there. We're finally getting the last bit of power in line, and of course we need to build the steam turbine. But to make the steam turbine, we need to get an electrical engineer. But remember. Hubble cannot build, so we can't make Hubble our electrical engineer. The uh, the smart choice would probably be Spitzer. He's the guy who goes around and does all the building, so I think that's the person we are going to do. He can do some ranching as well. Ah, he was born with the ranching. Let's not worry about that. That does not uh, enter into our calculations at all. Uh, we just need to get this built now. Uh, and also, I suppose, we could probably do with hooking some of these pipes up. But I'm afraid with that, I am going to actually have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where the cooling loop should be up and running. We should be able to get everything all connected up. And then we're going to go over to Begolia and we're going to build a whole bunch of toilets down below and trap the puffs above them and get morbs and puffs and everything all working in a nice little synergy to make us an infinite amount of slime. We're also going to try and figure out what's going on by Axley. Oh, there's a lot to do next time, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.